Coming up next, it's a UFC women's flyweight division matchup. Well, she told us on Thursday she threw her first jab at four years old, but she has developed into a well-rounded MMA fighter. All of that said, boxing is still the bread. Oh, it's unbelievable. At four, she's throwing a jab. I'm telling you. Right? We're all talking about our kids learning to ride a bicycle. This young lady was in the gym getting better, learning how to fight under a, spe a specific set of rules that carried her all the way up to the UFC. She is a phenomenal fighter, but at the end of the day, it's her boxing that leads the dance. Head's never on the center line. She does a very good job of mixing up the target. Goes high, goes low. It's truly amazing to watch someone with such a specified skill set be this successful in mixed martial arts. Yeah, near perfect technique, which you will see here in a matter of moments. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jujitsu. I don't want to kick, box, and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one. And you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer. Making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Pantera. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 124 pounds. Fighting out of Melbourne, Australia, Big. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eva Lavin. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? Well, the tension and the buzz is palpable as this fight gets started. Interesting stylistic matchup. Your thoughts on what we might see? This is a big time matchup between a fantastic fight and. Oh! Side leg kick. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Nice kick. Oh, the right hand is there for her. She lands a switch knee. Right on the button. Back and forth we go here. Three minutes to go. Big leg kick land. Oh, big head kick there. Again, she chooses to clinch here. There, beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she gonna use to follow it up? Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just over two minutes, round one. <laughs> Tries the flying knee to no avail. Nice one, two there. Look at the turtle in that kick. Again, back into this position. You gotta check these low legs. 
leg kick. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Thirty seconds now to go in the round. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. They continue to exchange. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool, kind of shaking her head, thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over. But if you know her, if you spent any time with her, you understand that she's a smart fighter, and she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Nice job of hiding that head kick. When you're in a clinch, you go to the body. That's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Strong thought of work here, staying busy. Nice hammer fist. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. What a fight. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Can't take many of those, you better check. There's no tell on that leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Straight punch lands. Beautiful head kick. Nice shot. Oh, shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, big left hook there. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one-two. What about the one-two? What about the one-two-three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. 15 seconds remain in the round. Great punch landed with so much power. Round three next. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that one. She's tough. She's durable. But she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight.
third round underway. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. She slips that left hand there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times... Oh, oh, I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Nice kick. Circling to her right. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right on... Oh! What you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Visibly limping here. Beautiful punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast acting striker. Just missed. Now has her opponent on the ropes. She threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she is seeing the reward of her hard work. Another clinch position. Caught that kick there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Final seconds of the fight. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Pantera! All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision, and certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you were waiting for that smile, it wasn't going to happen until the fight was over. Now she can relax a little bit as she wins a unanimous decision. I thought that this was one of her best performances to date. <laughs> Bad news, bad alarm, the big dog trying to hold a whole lot in the 